The classic lithium button cell, the CR2032, but there is also a version that can be recharged called the LIR2032, and here is one of the chargers. Now, you cannot recharge the CR2032. I don't recommend putting one of them in, but this one in one of Mousy's mini pewter badges, uh, this one is an LIR2032, as written on the back. Is that even going to be visible? It's not going to be very visible, is it? But anyway, it is an LIR2032. And the 2032 uh, relates to the diameter and the thickness. So 20 millimeters diameter. Let me, let me get the calipers here. And I can prove that. Where are my calipers? There they are. 20 millimeters diameter and 3.2 millimeters thick. Or 3.1 in this instance, apparently. Excellent. So this little charger takes a USB-C input and it's this side is marked positive, this side is marked negative. I don't know if it's got polarity protection, but the positive side is the main body of these cells and the negative side is the little sort of inserted disc. So you'd put it in like this and then you get your lead, this random lead, and you plug it in and there is a hole here and it lights up red to show it's charging and then after a long time it goes green. And I'm wondering if there is that protection. Anyway... There's one way to find out, and that is to open it. So let's try and open it. Now, a uh, brief investigation shows I don't think this end opens. And it looks as though, let's just try and wiggle it. Wiggle it just a little bit. Acid house, as they say. I'm not sure how this comes apart. I think this bit inserts in here. Is the spudger going to go in? The spudger is going to go in. Is it going to deliver anything? No, it's not. This may be tricky to open. Oh, it's open. Oh, that, I think that was using the metal as a little catch. Is this using an LTH? Oh, it's a very small circuit board. I wonder if it's using an LTH7 circuit board. Right, tell you what, I shall take a photo of this and we can explore it in greater detail. One moment, please. Reverse engineering is complete. Let's have a look at the circuitry. Nothing too fancy. The USB-C connector only has two connections. It's not got any indication back with resistors to the device that's feeding it. Let me zoom down this a bit. That uh, it is actually a load that needs powered. So this won't work with fancy uh, power supplies, but it'll work with dumb ones, just a standard USB lead like, say, for instance, this one. It has a standard charge control chip, much like the TP4057 or the uh, TP4056, but this one is called 57B9, which will just be a code. We have the incoming supply goes to this decoupling capacitor and then goes to the input of the chip. There is a current programming resistor, 85C, which is 75K. We've got a 1K resistor here and a 1K resistor here going over to an LED with a red and green chip for red for charging, green for finished. And then really oddly, from the positive rail, this is strange, there's a bypass resistor going to the output, 150K, and then another decoupling capacitor on the output. The connections, the positive goes out on uh, these two tabs and the negative goes out in the back tab on the back of the circuit board. There. Right, let's take a look at the schematic. Only one significant surprise. It's more of an oddity than anything else. So here's the USB coming in. And normally it would just go straight to the chip. But in this case, there's also one going to that resistor over there. Strange. Maybe for stability, maybe for some other reason, maybe a, a design error or who knows. There's a decoupling capacitor across the input. This is good. There's the uh, feed for the LEDs with the two 1K resistors for the LEDs. There is the programming resistor going to the zero volt connection on the chip. And then the output has the capacitor, but also that strange resistor, which means that theoretically, if you connect a lithium capacitor to this, there'll be a very tiny continuous trickle current from the five volts. But the difference is really 4.2 volts versus the five volt supply. That's less than a volt. So it's going to be a tiny amount of current, but it's odd that they've done that. And then to the lithium cell, however... There's no reverse protection. What would happen if you put the cell in back to front? There's only one way to find out. Let's do it. So here's a typical shonky USB power supply. And I shall plug this in here. And it's showing uh, no current. So I shall plug the lead into here. And then I'll put the battery in the right way around the lithium cell. 
So the lithium cells in the right way round, it's showing about 13 milliamps here. Let's zoom down a little bit. And make sure it's very visible. So now let's take this out and put it in back to front and see what happens. Is it going to smoke the circuit? Will it make a connection at all? Nothing. Then in the right way round. And charging again. It didn't seem to do anything. Uh, is it actually shorting the cell out? Hold on, let's get the meter in. I shall just zoom out for this. So I'll stick this round to the 20 volt setting. What voltage is on this cell at the moment? We have 3.9 volts. Let's put the battery in the wrong way round again and measure the voltage across it. 3.9 volts still, but it's just not doing anything there and it's not showing current over there. Turn it round. And it's back in action. I wonder if it has. I wonder if it actually has short circuit protection. And the current is showing again, uh, 14 milliamps, a uh, 13 to 14 charging, and it's uh, up to 4 volts. Uh, okay, so it does seem to have some sort of built-in protection, I'm guessing. Um, I wonder how they implement that. But there we have it. There is the little convenient uh, button cell charger for LIR. 2032 cells. I think it can handle different thicknesses as well, but uh, the main thing is the 20 millimeter bit, the 20. Maybe if 2016s would fit as well. And the current's not ridiculous, it's actually okay at about 16 milliamps, um, which is the top current I measured, about 15 or 16. Uh, very simple and very functional. Just make sure you do put the cell in the right way round because it can go in both ways round. But there we have it an interesting little device.